Okay, so in the last lesson, we talked about how to make a regression table with model summary. And we had a nice table at the end with multiple models, you know, next to each other. Each model was in a column. Uh, each model looked at a different set of variables and its effect on the, their effects on the dependent variable in our analysis. Uh, but there may be some instances in which we only have one uh, regression that we want to display. And so rather than showing a table, it might be better to show a coefficient plot. Um, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this lesson. Uh, and we're going to be using uh, another function from the model summary package called model plot and combining that with ggplot uh, to provide further customization of our uh, coefficient plot. Okay. So let's go ahead and dig in. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you actually is what does a regression table look like if you just have one model in it? Okay, so let's go ahead and add a co chunk and let's make a table with one regression model just to see uh, what that looks like. Uh, one label one model table and what we can do is just grab the model from our last grab this code from our last lesson put it down here and instead of having all the models let's just put in our full model and see what that looks like when we when we run it. Okay. Leave everything else the same. Okay, that's essentially what it looks like, right? Um, and it's not bad, but it does look just having one model in a table does look a little lonely. Uh, and it's also not maybe as informative as another alternative, which is a coefficient plot. Okay, so that's what I want to do next. So let's make a coefficient plot. And the way that we're going to do that is with uh, the model plot uh, function from the model summary package. So we already have the model summary package loaded, but now we're going to use a different function from that called model plot with model plot or we can say the model plot function all right and let's go ahead and add a code chunk and we'll say we'll label this uh, model plot okay and before we start in this code chunk let's go ahead and uh, load ggplot2. So we'll call library on ggplot2 and uh, just so we have that ready to go because we're going to use that later on, a little bit later on, to customize the coefficient plot that we're going to make here with model plot. Okay, so first things first, let's take our uh, full model and call model plot on our full model. So we see what a coefficient plot looks like relative to a table, just to get a sense of what that looks like. Okay, and this is our basic coefficient plot here. Okay, and uh, okay, so this needs some work, obviously. Uh, first of all, we have the same issue as we had with our tables previously, where we have the you know raw names from pSciencer for our independent variables. We want to change those. We want to change the order of them. We probably want to get rid of the intercept here because the regression equation isn't so much the focus of our analysis. We're more interested in the magnitude and the significance of the coefficients, which is going to be displayed by, um, by these uh, points and confidence intervals over here. Okay, so, um, so we're going to do that. Uh, we're also uh, going to add a vertical line uh, using ggplot um, so that it's clear where the zero line is 
and that'll give us a sense of whether the confidence interval is overlapping with the zero line and from that we can infer something about the significance of the variable okay um, that's very common in a coefficient plot is to accentuate the zero line um, we're also going to add some labels to it we're going to add a title we're going to add a caption and then we're also going to change the color of our point estimates and our confidence interval so it looks a little bit more attractive okay so um, okay so let's go ahead and get started with that there's some of this customization that we can do within the model plot function itself so let's start with those items the first thing we want to do is we want to add our coefficient map so we're going to go coef underscore map and if we just add let me show you this if we just under, add our coefficient map from earlier so uh, remember that was up here uh, we did our coefficient map right if we just add it like that let's see what happens okay so that definitely changes the variable name so that looks better but we have them in the wrong order and this is because unlike model summary which follows the same ordering of the coefficients as what we list in the vector here when we're creating the coefficient map model plot lists them from bottom to top so we could do one of two things we could go and re rewrite this coefficient map or uh, we could take the easy way out and we can use the reverse function rev just wrap the coefficient map in rev and uh, and rerun it and that should put our coefficients in the right order so let's go ahead and do that okay and that looks a lot better okay next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the intercept here because like I said that's not really the focus of our analysis so let's go ahead and omit that so we can use an argument coef omit equals intercept all right and that looks a lot better uh, it really centers the focus on the coefficients that we want to be looking at as opposed to being distracted by the intercept which is way off to the left and is not really relevant for us in this analysis so so we're going to do that and the last thing that we can do in um, in the model plot call itself is we can say color equals we can adjust the color of the points and the confidence intervals so we'll adjust that to blue okay and now this is starting to look uh, a lot more fetching isn't it so um, Okay, so next what I want to do is I want to do some further customization using ggplot functions. And so what Monoplot does, it actually creates a ggplot uh, object. So we can further customize it just by adding plus ggplot uh, functions just like we would with any other ggplot object. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to add a vertical line um, on the x-axis at zero so that we can more clearly see which coefficients highlight which coefficients are significant and which are not um, so geom underscore v line and uh, we're going to set the x-intercept to zero uh, the color let's set that to red the line type equals dashed and the line width let's set that to 0.75 okay and uh, here we can see what it didn't like it didn't like red for some reason oh color equals red there we go and let's run that and see what that looks like all right and uh, there we have our vertical uh, our line on the vertical axis at zero and that definitely makes it easier to see that ethnic fractalization is significant per capita gdp is significant population is statistically significant but these uh, other variables religious fractalization polyarchy terrain the confidence intervals are overlapping uh, with zero okay so the last thing we can do here is we can add some labels just like any other ggplot objects so let's go ahead and add a title title equals figure one predictors of conflict onset 
and let's go ahead and add a caption to it. And let's just say, again, as with the table, we'll do a little bit of cop out here and we'll say, see appendix for data sources. Okay, there we go. And so uh, we have our title, we have our source note here, um, or at least a redirect towards you know the sources in the appendix. Okay, so that is how you make a coefficient plot using the model plot function from the model summary package. Hopefully a very useful skill for you as you move forward in your data science and or political science careers. And that wraps up this module on how to make tables um, and when to use tables and when to use other things like coefficient plots. I'll see you in the next module.